Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Real Wrestling Roundup. This week, I'm joined by your most familiar cast that we have on the show, your favorite, the Three Musketeers. They got with me, Eight and Johnny. How are you guys doing? Joel, which musketeer do you think each of us are? Can you even name the musketeers? I can't. Don't ask me that question. Don't think so. <laughs> I know one of them is hey. Aramaeus. I think one's Pathos, and I can't remember the third. Which also, technically, there's a fourth one, but he shows up that, in very, that one, very few. On maybe one of them. Maybe maybe a better term a would be the Three Stooges. Larry, Curly, and Moe. I know them. Shout Shep. Well, he's not one of the Three Stooges. Yes, he was. There's Three Stooges. That's a fourth. But he replaced the one guy that either had a stroke or a heart attack and couldn't do it anymore. In the original series or in the new movie that came out? The original series, back in like the 1950s or whatever, when they were big. I didn't follow them, it that closely. One of them actually had a, either a heart attack or a stroke and couldn't perform anymore. And so his cousin stepped in, which is Shep. Makes sense. Well, when somebody has a heart attack... Just call in your cousin. Fill the shoes. Speaking of filling shoes, we have AEW Dynasty results. And the man with a plan, H, is going to run us through yeah. Dynasty. So, let's see how our predictions went. Probably shit. Yeah. Well, I, I think we did well. I think we got the pre-show. Yeah, Trent Barretta and Matt Seidel. Okay. Trent Barretta. I think we all said that. I said Matt, but I'm oh, an idiot. Yeah. Yeah, but you did it for an emotional reason. Yeah, because yeah. I love that guy. Uh, Shibata and Cassidy and Shane Taylor Promotions. We all said Shibata Cassidy. You're right on that. Yeah, the acclaimed and Bullet Club Gold for the ROH six man. Did we get it right? Yeah, I think we all said Bullet Club Gold for that. Yep. And then you've got from where I started watching it, and I've not got far in, I've not finished it yet. First match in the main card was Okada and Pac. Oh, they opened up hot. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just shy of 22 minutes for the Continental Championship. And we all said Okada, I believe. And we were all right. All right. Then you had the House of Black and Adam Copeland, Eddie Kingston and Mark Briscoe. Were we right on that one? I don't think I said, I don't think I went with you two on that one. I think I went House of Black because they need a, they were the more cohesive. Yeah, you did say that. You did and you were right. Nice. The only one right. Johnny's uh, wrecked on all of them so far. The house rules match for the TBS Championship will all night and Gale and Julia Hart. What was the house rule? Sky Blue and Chris Statlander were barred from ringside. That's a lame right. rule. I can't remember what we said for that. I think we said Julia Hart. Then we were wrong. I, I want to say one of us at least said Willow because Did we you were say talking Willow? about. I don't know. Because we were talking about they're building up to Mercedes Monet versus Willow. Yeah. And that one definitely needs a title. I think I said Julia Hart because I said House of Black could lose, but she'd get the win. So we were we were wrong in both of them. I was wrong too, so. Then you had, for the International Championship, Roderick Strong and Kyle O'Reilly. believe I oh. said Kyle O'Reilly. So did I. I want to say Strong. Or actually, I said DQ, Str Kyle wins, but Strong retains title. Yes, yeah, you, you did. did. So it's uh, half right strong. there. Strong, yeah. Was it that? Was that the result? Yeah, Thank Roderick you. Strong. No, just pinfall. Uh, then you had the CW Championship, Jericho and Hook. We, I, I picked Hook, but same Jericho, right? Yeah, yeah. Put another belt on Jericho. Which did you guys realize? Jericho's changed his interest in music again. He's now using Fozzie's Spotlight. Oh no, I didn't know. I don't think I made it to that match. I, I noticed it on Dynamite this week. Is that one of their newer songs? It's the one they debuted in the UK like the night before Wembley. Okay. I didn't know that he changed his song, but are people singing along to it like they did the other one? No. And I had to... Really? It clicked in my head that they changed the song, because obviously it wasn't Judas. Mm -hmm. But it took me a bit to realize which song they were playing, because again, Spotlight is one of their newer ones. It's not one that I gravitate towards not like crazy or i still burn so yeah it is one of their new songs i don't know if fans will sing along to it or not i'm sure they'll catch on yeah we'll wait for like, the jericho cruise which i can't go on thanks johnny 
I didn't get you banned. Dick, I blame you. After that, it was the Women's World Championship. Thunder Rosa challenging Tony Storm. We said Tony, because she's hot right now. And we were right. And then you had the match I'm most looking forward to, Danielson Osprey. We said, I, I said... Just shy of 33 minutes. I think I said Osprey. Yeah, Osprey. I think I said Danielson, because it wasn't a big match. Yeah. And he always yeah. puts himself over. Yeah, just, just over half an hour, Will Osprey. Which I'm glad about. Then the tournament final ladder match for the vacant tag titles. TR in the books. Which, if I remember right, we said that would be a perfect place to bring Jack Perry back. And lo and behold, yeah. And the Bucks won. And we said, it's a ladder match, the Bucks will win. Did I say the Bucks? I wa- almost want to say I said FTR, but I, think, I, I could think be wrong. I think we said we wanted FTR, and if it was a straight yeah. match, FTR, but it's a ladder match, so it's got to be the Bucks. Right. I think you're right on that. Um, in that match, right. Dax Harwood suffered a concussion. I heard it was when Perry pushed him off the ladder that it happened. At least that's what I've been reading. I mean, injuries are bound to happen in matches like that. I don't know if there's a surefire way to prevent those type of things. I I love ladder matches, but I hate the fact that somebody ends up getting injured usually. It's like one of those catch-22 things. Like The guys in the match know, like, oh, one of us is probably going to be a victim tonight. Yeah, I mean, at least it was just a concussion, not a face-shattering. Just a concussion. (laughs) All right, in comparison to Joey Mercury's face that one time, yeah, mm. just a concussion. And yeah. Jeff Hardy's nose. That not was remember. a backflip spot, right? I don't know. But do you not remember what happened to Joey Mercury? That was horrendous. Fresh my memory. The ladder came up and smashed his entire face, and he had to have reconstructive surgery. You look at Mercury before the ladder match and Mercury after the ladder match, then his face is not the same. Yeah, and I think that's Sorry. probably the worst ladder match injury that I know of kind of have a joke that i want to say and don't want to say it hey remember we're co-opting the small town murders we're assholes but we're not scumbags okay <clears throat> i'm gonna say it then the female wrestlers don't need ladder matches to get reconstructive surgery on their faces and not look the same <laughs> <laughs> yeah charlotte flat <clears throat> it's all yeah <clears throat> <laughs> but she was fixing a septum issue at least that's her official line the only one that I've seen get tons and tons and tons of plastic surgery and it actually looks good is Soraya. She looks banging now. I'm just going to say it. Like, whatever she did, whoever her doctor is, did a good job. All the rest of them? Yeah. I mean, they it's look like they should be at a pond. Sucks. Yeah. Sorry. Don't hate me. Please. I'm not... Please don't call the PC police on me. <laughs> I'm just making an observation that everybody probably else makes, and I'm just saying it for the rest of us. No, the next episode that we put out, or the next video we put out, is Joel going to be by himself on a couch doing the YouTuber apology. Cancelled. That's me. Cancelled. I'll take the weight of that statement on my shoulders for the rest of us, because I know you're all thinking it. Everybody listening to this right now is probably like, damn, shouldn't have done that surgery. Just me? All right. Yeah, I think we just got the, uh, the results through there. Obviously, the main event was for the world title. Samoa with Joe ending against Swerve. Swerve? I saw that. Yeah, yeah I was, Good for I him. was against it. I think. Yeah, there was, there was no avoiding that result. I think I ev- picked Samoa Joda. No, I'm pretty uh, sure you went Swerve. Because I, I asked you if you're going Swerve just to make him as the historic first black champion, or if you actually wanted Swerve and you actually was like, or you said both. I can't remember if I said I wanted Swerve because of that reason or just because I like Swerve altogether. And then just like said, but I think it's going to be Samoa Joe. I can't remember. I'm going to have to listen back. I wouldn't be surprised yeah. if I was wrong, though, because that's typically what happens when I make predictions. That's why I don't play the lottery, because I just throw away money. Speaking of throwing away money, Nick Khan and Vince McMahon sold all their TKO shares. Obviously, we know that Vince McMahon was on his way out, so it made sense for him. Yeah. O- opinions on Nick Khan selling all of his shares? Do you think that he might be on his way out too? Either he's on his way out or he knows that there's that loyal group of stockholders for WWE that the no Vince, no future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he might be selling or there's a clearinghouse going. He might be one of those who thinks he's on the bubble. 
he to be fair, he didn't have all that many shares compared to what a lot of the owners have. Him selling his shares is also selling his part of the ownership TKO, which makes me believe that he might be one foot out the door. Yeah, sounds like it. Even if he's not one foot out the door, selling off his stocks in the position that he's in, because right now it's like Triple H and Nick Khan's WWE. That's how you're looking at it. So if one guy is saying, all right, I'm going to sell all my stocks, even if he's not trying to get out. And, you know, it could just be a good financial thing. Stocks are high right now. Vince selling might drop them. Who knows? True. He might just be doing that for the financial benefits. But if I was to look into stocks and I see two big stockholders selling, I'm not going to buy that stock. No. Or he might be selling because he knows it's going to drop and then wait till it drops and buy back at a cheaper price. So make his money now and then buy back. They do yeah. have more knowledge than we do in that. There's actually AI apps now that track big investors and help you invest in the same stuff that they invest in when they invest to help bring up politics. But Nancy Pelosi, she's a billionaire, and she typically buys and sells at the very right time. And there's AI apps that track her investments. Check those out because you might make money. Yeah, but you have to have money to invest. True. You got to have money to make money. I'm broke. We just talked about him, Vince McMahon. There's another non-compete that we want to talk about. Johnny's going to take us away with that. Well, hopefully the fire trucks don't get picked up. Federal Trade Commission just recently announced a ruling that non-competes are going to be banned. This will take effect 120 days, more like 115 days from now, which is amazing not only for like high-end business executives, but wrestlers. I mean, that's what we're here about. We're here about wrestling. They're forever stuck in 90-day non-competes, but that's not going to be a thing anymore. Unfortunately, Cameron Grimes is still stuck in a 90-day non-compete, though. He's grandfathered in. Johnny with the sirens in the background. They're coming to get you, Johnny. For having me kicked off the cruise. I called the police on you. Isn't swatting a federal crime now? I think so. Maybe not in New York. Did they make it a federal crime there now? I mean, if it's federal, it's nationwide. And not statewide. Speaking of, and this is not wrestling related, but I heard... It was like a sound clip of this lady. It's so much time and money in this place that I'm squatting in. And I'm not really willing to give up my spot. And they're like, how do you pay? F- how is the electric put on in here? And she's like, illegally. And they're like, how do you make money? Do you have a job? And she's like, welfare. And I'm like, <laughs> all right, that makes sense. That is a squatter if I've ever heard one. Squatters got balls. They like- do. I'm going to take your shit and live in your house. Gordon Ramsay had a pub closed for renovations, yes. and they were renegotiating his lease. Squatters got in there, and he's stuck trying to get them out. Dude, they're eating good. Yeah. Like, That's the, what I would... The Squat restaurant's the closed, place. but they're still eating all of his product he had there, damaging his building to where he's going to have to renovate really? further. Like... It's just crazy oh, yeah. the rights squatters get. Yeah, there was uh, there was an old shutdown pub near us that that they got into, and it must have been five months that they were trying to get rid of them. Good lord! I mean, there's actually, all, all they did was move a few miles down the road to another closed pub. I mean, it's actually became a profession of running squatters off. They may not use legal means. In Florida, you're allowed to shoot them. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> of course, Florida. Because it's called, it's, it's considered breaking and entering, and there's castle doctrine. How to shoot them? But, but you have to be, but you have to be of, in fear of your life for that stand your ground law to actually work in the castle doctrine. You can't kill someone True. because they stole your soda pop, Florida man. <laughs> True, but nine times out of ten, they won't even question you. All they have to do is see that somebody intruded into your space, and all you have to do is say. I felt threatened for my life. They pulled a knife on me. Get some gloves. We, put a knife in their hand. You just won that. We case. actually had a stand your ground law case in 
prior about a decade ago. Turns out the kid was skateboarding away and got shot in the back. And the guy, the old man was like, oh, it's stand your ground. No. Nope. Yeah. Not so, yeah. shooting in the back. That's not standing your ground. Oh, we have, we have one over here similar a few years ago. Farmer shot, shot a burglar in the back. Clearly he was leaving. Yeah. Can't do that. The only case where I think it might ride that line, there was like this one guy who was like eating up two cops in a Wendy's drive through Fell asleep drunk in the drive through Pulled him out of the car. He was like, strength of, they say it. I'm not going to say the word, but you know the word I'm talking about, that kind of strength. Yeah. Fighting off two cops and then stole one of their tasers and was like turned around and facing side profile, attempting to fire the taser which can technically be lethal force on an officer because if you tase him, you can get to his gun. They shot him, and it went in his back because of the way he was turned. That was a very, very Florida story. It didn't happen in Florida. Surprise. I think it was in, like, Detroit. Oh, fair enough. It's like Mad Max up there. Yeah, sometimes even worse. I think they want to have a WrestleMania there. Yeah. So you're telling me I can't drink the water here and I can't fight cops? What the <laughs> if you uh, if you ever search your own Google search, your own birthday and Florida man. No. Just to see what comes up it is it. wonderful. <laughs> no matter what date you put in, you get a crazy one. All right. Just wait for my uh, terrible phone. Florida man. Ready? Yeah, go on. All right. Here we go. Florida man 33 posed his housewife to lure men in the home where he secretly filmed sex acts for Webb. Ten I got October, you beat, Florida man accused of forcing alligator to drink beer. Dude, that's Florida. December 22nd, 2021. Florida man with drugs around penis denies they were his. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Here's another one. Miami, Florida man uses broomstick to rob victim of a pizza. Hey, Joel, I think mine gets a little better for you. It was in Clearwater, Florida. Right in my backyard. Florida man, 18, accidentally shoots woman twerking at possible house party, police say. That's in 2022 in Coca, Florida. Coco? That's south. That's by where the uh, the NASA shuttle fly out, Coco area. Florida man arrested after falling asleep on sofa of home police say he burglarized. Yeah, it's, it's great. Every so often, I'll just go through a few people's birthdays. and. All right. I'm covering up the the title, but that kind of looks like H. Ready for this? This is the best one. Florida man arrested for pelting girlfriend with McDonald's sweet and sour packets. Jesus. That Okay, guys, that's a drinking game for a future episode. Whoever gets the best Florida man one gets to make the other drink. There's a YouTuber that goes, he's from Florida. I can't remember his name. It just pops up on my feed. Once a month, he does the Florida Man news, and he just sums up all the crazy shit that's happened in Florida over that month. That was fun. Fucking got a good laugh at that one. Does Hulk Hogan count as Florida Man? It's crazy is Florida stories, man, dude. That's hundred percent Florida Man. His son oh. is definitely Florida Man. Killed a guy. Can't stop yeah. getting DUIs. I thought he died. Nick? Yeah, I thought I Nick Hogan was dead. Speaking of, a lot of people don't like him. Goldberg. You've heard? There he is. He's whacking himself. It's very funny that he is the beacon of light in this situation to tell us all that he would never wrestle in AEW because it's too cheesy. Coming from a man who was popular in WCW back in the 2000s. Coming from a man who wrestled in Saudi Arabia for a money grab. Yeah. And it was one of the worst matches I've ever seen. It probably just wasn't it. Enough money for him, to be honest. Well, if you want to talk about cheesy, he's the one who smashed his head onto a fucker, knocked himself unconscious for a small amount of time, and that's why the match sucked. He was bleeding from his forehead when he came out. I mean, he used to do that all the time. In fact, there's one episode where he was busted a limousine window, and he busted the one he was supposed to that was made out of sugar glass or something, and then he busted the real one and nearly lost his arm. Wow. HD of demons back there. Yeah, oh, that, that's a new noise to me. 
the exorcism of Emily what Rose, part three. What is happening in there? I think whatever Goldberg is just saying that is because he didn't get enough money offered or Tony Khan didn't want what he wanted. Because that whole beef with Eric Bischoff came out. Eric's just upset he didn't get offered a job at AEW. Makes sense. There's only one bald goatee wearing guy that I respect. And it's not Goldberg. No. Speaking of not Goldberg. Yeah, Gilberg. (laughs) Johnny has some news about the mayor of London. The mayor of London tweeted out that if he's reelected, he wants to get the Super Bowl. He wants to bring Major League Baseball. And the thing that makes it pertinent to this show, he wants a WrestleMania there. We already have baseball. Let me pull up his tweet then and I'll post it on the the video. Yeah. And you have NFL games. I'm sure the uh, the MLB is something to do with it'll be something to do with Tony Khan somewhere because I'm sure they use Fulham's ground that they own. Okay, I messed up. It's yeah. NBA, not ah. MLB. Yeah, they want to bring WrestleMania and Super Bowl and the NBA to London and put together another bid for the 2040 Olympics. Triple H responded to that. Let's talk. I think they very well easily could get the Olympics. That's not out of the question at all. WrestleMania would probably be the second one where they can. That's probably going to be a given at some point. Yeah, some point, yeah. NBA for sure, because they're getting all the other sports. The one that I don't think might ever happen, and if it does, it's not going to be for a long, long time, is a Super Bowl not a chance. in London because of the timing, right? Because the Super Bowl is at a certain time every year. Even the West Coast Super Bowl games are weird. They have to start them later over there for them because yeah. all the, the timing is based on Eastern time. So if they did a Super Bowl in London, it would have to be at, like, what, 6.30 here? So it would have to be one thirty in the morning? You throw enough money at it, and you'll get it. Oh, I'm sure there will be fans in that stadium at one thirty in the morning. I wasn't even thinking about the fans. I was just thinking like if London and the mayor of London – throw enough tax credits, production credits, incentives, and all that, they're going to get it. We have another injury. H is going to take us away with that one. Yeah, the death match legend Necro Butcher over in Japan has shattered his hip, pelvis, that whole oh. area. Yeah, he's uh, stuck over there in hospital, surgery, all that jazz. It looks like he's, looks like he's in good spirits, but there is various fundraisers because obviously those bills are going to pile up i think deathmatch outlaws over here have got a t-shirt for british british law i think key w and someone else over your side has have got t-shirts up there's a gofundme i've seen someone doing limited edition custom necro butcher figures with all the proceeds going towards it and- at least he's in a japanese hospital and not like yeah. a south korean or african yeah yeah, it, it, there could have been a lot worse places for it to happen. Yes. Probably going to be cheaper than being in an American hospital. Probably it cleaner. Over here, it'd be free, though. Would it be free for, for a non um, UK citizen? So. No. I think it, so if I, I went think, to the UK and got be, injured, it would be free? I think so. I think it works similar. Canada. I'll take notes. I thought there was a small copay or a small fee we had to pay in Canada. I don't think it's completely free. Because then, like, people who live on the border would be going over to Canada for everything medical. Yeah. I do think it's not as expensive as the U.S. No. Still be saving money. Yeah. So, like, if you live in Buffalo, go right over the border. They'll take care of you. Speaking of taking care of you, what happened last night? Did we get the results in? I think so, said yes. We did yes we've, Are we we've skipping Darby? The... Oh, yeah. Darby oh, Ellinger shit. By a bus. <laughs> You've had several good positions for transitions, to, and that's a flub is, on my end. Which is the because uh, I had it numbered. Be the, the spot that I chew off me cool Darby Allen stuff. Like Buffalo, you Nassif know, I got hit by a like I heard of Buffalo's boom Darby Allen. He got hit by a bus. Skateboard. Yeah, that's dope. Go I might it. have that Darby Allen tech deck. As soon as I saw it, I'm, yeah, I've got one of that. I just struggled to get it because Steve Williams was in the way. 
I would say speedy recovery, but the dude went to a Broadway show right after. Got his, by the looks of it, his face patched up. And he's nuts. Already, already on a broken foot. Get hit by a bus. Most people would be still in the hospital bed. Yeah, not Darby Allen. There is the only other person I've ever known be hit by a bus and be all right. Is um, a rugby player from over here. He was on a night out or something. Saw the bus coming and just dropped his shoulder and took it. Sounds like a rugby player if I've ever heard one. He jumps in front of the bus. Look, it's Mike Allstott. He did a number on the bus. There was the dent front it's wind- window. Like Trent did more on that front window to the car last night than that. Trent? Is that his real name? No, the parking lot brawl last night. Oh, okay. Oh, I thought you meant Darby it. Allen. I know that's no. not his real name. Oh, he, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't see him doing too much damage to a bus if it hit him. Darby's like light work goes. I need, to fuck yeah, I, I need more more information. Like, how, how do you get hit by, by what? What happened? I, mean, I want to know. Do you not, do you not what, see the bus coming? Right. So, you, was he on his skateboard? Was he walking? I assume he'd be walking if he was with a, or going to the opera or Broadway or whatever he was going with to some yeah. with somebody. Was he drunk? He doesn't drink, as far as I know. Was he Is high? that straight edge? He's well, straight he's edge. He's straight edge? Yeah. So he should have had a sense of surrounding. Did the bus just come out sense. of nowhere like Randy Orton? And a bus hit out of nowhere. Was, yeah. was, like, was it... Was, was was it a, the bus, did the bus driver swerve into the sidewalk? or Was no, it an actual bus, or was it Jerome Bettis? I mean... <laughs> was he li- or was the bus driver listening to Swerve's theme song? I swerve when I drive. I swerve when I drive. Yeah. Or however that goes. I'm too white to sing it, you know? <laughs> Did somebody fight the bus driver? I saw this video the other day. It was somebody fighting a bus driver and he crashed into a wall. Like, he pulled the bus driver out of his seat. He was dangling from his seatbelt. And the dude just, the bus crashes into a wall. Thank God nobody was hurt. But could have been Darby. That could have been a Darby Allen situation where the bus driver got distracted by something. Bus driver's driving, looks to his left, looks to his right. Oh, he sees hot chick. I mean, and we're assuming it was the bus driver's fault. What if Darby was like out of the taxi and wasn't paying attention, getting out on the wrong side of the road? This bus has stopped and barely any hit. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it or look up the article later. Yeah, I, I just saw it on his Instagram this morning. We like to not look at the articles when we talk about things. We just like to talk about the topic at hand and let you guys go look up the articles. Yeah, I've, you I've not see read the- anything into it. I just saw what that'll be posted. Yeah, I saw the picture. Dude looks gnarly. Mm. I think he you looks guys like Chucky. I think you guys put the article or the topic in after I went to bed, so I didn't yeah. see it till this morning. Yeah, possibly. Johnny's eighty-seven years old, and he goes to bed at four p.m. Yeah, got to get that early bird special. <laughs> I'll put I'll put that in nine, nine o'clock our time this morning. So yeah, so nine o'clock your time's three a.m. my time. Johnny was in counting sheep at that time he hit it right before i flubbed and skipped over darby allen there was an infamous pro wrestling yes we were in run card last night yesterday i need a uh, he's on because i can't see that so we had lance rivera defeated isaac north lily winter defeated lucy sky bgf defeated two dogs no j won the james roach invitational Ali Hudson and Lizzie Evo, Scouts and Proud, defeated Lana Austin and Lucia Lee. Hmm. Lana Austin. That's Love for, that's for awesome. Alana. It's got to, go in, got to go in a frame on the wall with the Harley Hudson one. Then there was a battle royale for the infamous world title. It was vacated by Declan when he got injured. I think it was 20 man, possibly. A lot, a lot of people. And that was won by Isaac North. Hell yeah. You said a person fought two dogs. Was it like two chihuahuas and two what or, or two what wireless or a chihuahua and a what wireless? No, but that would have been far more, far more interesting. That'd be, well, no, because then it would have been getting a bit kennel from hell, wouldn't it? Also, <laughs> make sure when you search Google two dogs, you put safe search filter on because yes. I, I don't know what will pop up. Or a yeah. wrestler two dogs, you know? Yeah. Could I think, find some I think they're a tag there. team and uh, 
Yeah, it's a tag team. And it will have been the... Uh, definitely don't BGS. search tag team two dogs. Two dogs, definitely not. <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> these everywhere. I've got two or three of these in this room alone. BGS. They're just, they're just appearing everywhere. It sounds like it could. that could be an STD. I got VG at make it into work today. <sighs> oh, man. Yeah, yeah well-deserved Isaac getting the title. He kind of resembles Darby Allen a little bit. Yeah, he's just they, a lot, a lot taller. Yeah, they could, they could be a tag team. Yeah, he's. I gotta say, I was talking to him yesterday. He's got, got to have a good like three, four inches on me. He's a big boy. Six foot eight. He's up there. He's got a duck when he goes through doorways. The yeah. only one that I think might have him beat is probably Jack Talos. Jack's seven feet tall. Yeah, and I've seen a tweet. From Empire Pro Wrestling, I guess they were in, or some of the guys were in Vegas with him and on the same flight. And Jack, just poor Jack, no leg room, you know? Like, he, we're normal sized people and have issues with the leg room. Poor Jack. He has been filing complaints with Southwest because they have a what is called a larger person policy where if you're wide, you You've get, got to get two to, seats. Yeah, two seats. But you don't only have to pay for one. Should have to pay for two. I'm sorry. Yeah, definitely. I'm not going to defend morbid obesity. If you're morbidly obese, that's fine. I'm not going to make fun of you. But if you put yourself in that position, you should have to pay for that second seat that you're yeah. taking away from somebody else because you couldn't stop and prevent yourself from that. So if you that's that to say? Take a, issue. a cello or right. a guitar, you've got to pay for the seat for it. Right. Johnny has a point. Assuming it's not a medical issue, if this was brought on by yourself, you should have to pay for a second seat. Now, Jack Talos gets on a plane. He is a person of size, what they call him. He's seven feet tall, 320 pounds. He is not your average human being. They should have him part of that policy, and that's why he keeps complaining, because... Homeboy's getting ripped. Yeah. He should be at, like, center aisle, wherever there's a divider or something. The emergency exits, you get the extra bit of leg room. I mean, I'm only six foot, and, like, I have issues with the leg spacing. I'm not morbidly obese, but even, like, some of them plain seats I have issues with. Some of those seats are slim. I know the last plane I had, I was, like, that far from the seat belt, actually closing so i had to get an extender and like that's the only plane i've had that on others i have like maybe that much strap left it's probably the older planes where they have the smaller straps but yeah i can see where he needs more leg room but like also what do you do with him like extra leg room where the emergency exits are but it's still not that much extra like no. he's probably at least four and a half five foot of the just leg you're talking about maybe another five or six inches of space yeah in the emergency exit aisles, if that. <clears throat> so, but there should be well, there's airlines no use in giving him an, an extra seat next to him because that's not. I mean, it could sprawl out a little bit more. Like if you're sitting in the one of the aisle seat, especially if he could sit yeah, in that in that middle seat or yeah. the one leg by one seat, one leg and towards the aisle, maybe might be a little bit better. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not seven feet. I'm nowhere near. But then at the same time, you'd have the flight attendants coming by every time you need them, and you'll have to move your leg or the people getting up to use the restroom that even when you're in your own little spot, they'll hit you. They don't care. Right. And Johnny, you say, I'm I'm only six feet. I'm only six feet tall. Don't rub it in my face, dude. I'm only 5'10". I'm vertically challenged. Actually, no. They say that the average male height in the United States is five foot eight. So I'm above average height sounds like short person talk coming from joel i am the shortest one on the show all right guys we're gonna wrap this thing up you guys have anything you want to throw in before we close it out i'm all good that's what she said yeah, exactly so. i don't think there's anything oh drew park has been confirmed for cnc thrill kill hell yeah <clears throat> h will be there catch h at that throw kill um go give him a high five i'm not next weekend because that's the um no ring no rules 
and Solve Pro and all the yes. other stuff. We plugged that a few shows back. I'm sure that H is going to inform us all about that. Oh, Not yes. next week, but the week after. I might, be, I might, yeah, be able to do next week. Fingers crossed. Might be me tablet, tablet and headphones from a venue, but hey, if, hey, you, need, if you need edition. me, I can make it work. And, and maybe if you're at a venue, you can just be like, hey, yeah, hey, you, come say hi on the Real Wrestling Podcast. Might have a special episode next week. Who knows? You're going to have to listen to find out. If you like this episode, please like, comment, rate, subscribe, share. If you're listening to this and you prefer to read because you're a nerd or something, go to the website, realwrestling.net. Go check out the news there. We're also on all your social media platforms if you want to get the shorter version, like headlines and all that, Twitter, Facebook, you name it, we're there. Leave us a comment on any of these helps boost us up the algorithm because that's everything now is AI based. So we're just trying to push our name up there. Five stars and a comment, even if it's just your height or like we were doing earlier. Birthday Florida man stories in the comments. Let's have we, some fun. And if we find a real good one, we might even force Simon to do something. Simon will be, we're going to start a new category for Simon alone. It's going to be called where's Simon. Where's Simon from? D- Dudley? Dudley. Oh, Dudley man. Yeah. And it's just going to be Simon doing dumb shit, which is his <laughs> normal everyday life. But um, yeah, guys, this has been the Real Wrestling Roundup. This has been a fun one. Go search your birthday in Florida, man. And we will see you next week on the Real Wrestling Roundup. Peace.